Okay, so I'm three shots of vodka into my evening. I'm about to go ride my bike. And I was sitting here in my living room with my dog watching some YouTube. And I saw a picture from Twitter where somebody put MBA after their name. It got me to thinking, what in the solemn hell is an MBA? I'm pretty sure it stands for some kind of business degree or certification. And uh, it just gets me to thinking, do people go to school for this shit? Like, okay, I understand you need to know a little bit about accounting, but that's a, that's a separate field. That's, that's, that's accounting. Business management, sure, you can learn some, you know, flow charts and procedures and things, but why? 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 <laughs> uh, my family, my grandfather, he, he owned a campground. Granted, it did go under, but that's because we had a major uh, infrastructure failure that was kind of out of our hands um, to fix. But what I, I saw him doing, and what I have several friends that own, you know, restaurants and things, uh, it's really not that complicated to, to run a business. Certainly with international business and things where there's kind of an organization and a hierarchy, there are procedural things. But again, can't that all be learned in-house? Why do you need to spend thousands of dollars and years of your life learning really uh, basic stuff? It's just a strain on the economy. It's completely unnecessary. Uh, and also... My, I have a family in the hospital right now, and fortunately, they're ex-military, so they have, you know, good insurance and such. But I'm just thinking, uh, with how indebted everybody is, that's taking away from people participating in the economy. It's, it's not good for people's confidence. They are not going to go out and spend because – or they are going to go out and spend, but they're going to spend while in debt, which is not helping anybody except for really, really big uh, corporations and banks and things. And – Everything to me is just absolutely crazy, and these things being viewed as a positive. Oh, I'm going to go get my MBA and compete with a completely saturated, you know, business market. And then people laugh and poopa, you know, uh, YouTube uh, type of people, and then uh, people who start these kind of online uh, businesses or try to be writers or artists. And it's like, well, they're actually producing a tangible product. You, you might not think that, you know art necessarily has inherent value in the same way that some mass-produced good from China does because you can sell that trinket to somebody and then you see that revenue immediately. But no, it's we've got to think of a, of a new way of doing doing this economics and stop being so, so goddamn snarky about everything. Oh, you're a YouTuber or, oh, you, you're publishing stuff online. It's You're not an established author. Uh, you've got to go ahead and, and work through this chain of these people with all these MBAs and freaking editing. You've got to be organizational. You've got to be le legitimate. No, if I make content that people enjoy, I'm an artist and I'm producing something. Likewise for somebody that's uh, doing anything at all. What is this MBA crap? Like, what 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 is it? What is this drive of uh, every time you talk to somebody, it's like, oh, what are you up to? If you mention something uh, like uh, I'm working on a book or I'm writing and to make my immediate money, I'm doing kind of, you know, manual labor. They're like, oh, well, you're just a dreamer hoping. No, 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 no. You're the dreamer. You're the one that's going into debt to get a foothold in a saturated market, learning really basic, you know, decision tree bullcrap. That's, that's my two cents. I hope you were entertained. Thanks so much for listening. I'm going to go take a bike ride before I go to bed. Peace.